So welcome to Techno Dad Life, where we build, learn, and create as Compini. And on today's episode, we're going to be doing a very requested uh, video, which is how do we use the extra data on our boot drive? So basically, when OMV installs, it uses all of the drive that it is installed on, which is why everybody suggests getting a small drive to do that. And so basically, OMV doesn't really use over 8 gigabytes. Uh, if you get an SSD or some other drive, it's very hard to get that. So uh, there's a lot of wasted space there. So what you can do instead, and it's not recommended, is actually repartition your hard drive. And then you can use that extra space on that disk. Okay. So I will give you an example when you want to do that. So today we're, we have this netbook. And so this netbook has one drive. Uh, it's old, it's a 2012, does not have a DVG drive. If you have a computer with a DVG drive, even if it's a laptop, you can take that out, get an adapter, and actually put a hard drive in, and that's what I would suggest doing for that. If you don't have that option, then follow along in the tutorial today, and you can use your whole boot drive. Uh, so basically, we're going to reduce the amount of room that OMV has and then we're going to use that rest of the boot drive as a place to store our data. And so if you like this video make sure you like and if you haven't already subscribe and hit that bell button and here we go now. Okay, so to install OMV to a single disk for both your OMV OS and your data, first thing you need to do is actually just install OMV to that disk. And so OMV takes up about 8 gigabytes itself, less than 8 gigabytes. But when it you install it to a disk, it uses the whole disk. So First thing you need to do is install it to the disk and then we'll show you what you need to do next. So first you're going to download two things. So Etcher and then uh, Gparted. And so Gparted is what we're going to do to repartition partition our disk. And so we're going to use Etcher to uh, burn it to a USB device. So next we're going to open up Etcher and we're going to select Gparted as our Linux distribution ISO and it automatically found our USB device and then we're going to click flash plug in the USB with G parted and then we're going to start that first hit enter and so for the next few screens we're going to just hit enter so don't touch the keyboard and we're going to pick 33 which is the default for English and then just hit enter to continue to uh, the GUI Okay, so here you can see that Open Media Vault has taken up the whole drive except for the little yellow part here at the beginning. And so what we're going to do is adjust this so that uh, we have this whole middle white section to use here. So we're going to click on that. We're going to click Resize. And we're going to go over the end here and we're going to adjust that so it's about 8 gigabytes. And then we're going to click Resize. Next, we're going to click on this middle section. And then click on New. And then Add. And then we're going to click Apply. And Apply. And then that will take a few minutes to uh, move all those around. Once that's done, click Close. And then you can close and shut down your computer. Once you've shut down, then pull out the USB disk and then reboot as normal. And here you can see we're going into Open Media Vaults and let's see what happens. Okay, so now if you get any errors the first time through, just reboot the computer till you get to this screen. So what we're going to type here is F fsck space slash dev slash sda1 
And then we're going to hit enter. And yes. And then we're going to hit exit. And that will reboot the machine. And now we can log in to OpenMe Vaults. So let's switch back to our browser. And here the password is admin and OpenMe Vault. And we can log in. Next, if we go to disks, we now see our Samsung disk. So we're not going to wipe that. We're just going to go to File Systems. And we're going to click on SDA3, which is the which is the freed up part of the disk and we're going to click mount and apply and yes. And now we can do things like add folders to it. And there you can see it's available and we can save it to that. Good. And that is a simple way of making open media vault all on one disk. And again, uh, only do this is if you have to because your data is a lot less safe being on the just the one disk. If you have that disk fails, then you lose all your data. So I would definitely back it up. And if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Bye bye.